going to talk both about my work as well as my photography. I'll start <laughs> with the work um, and then just fun. Um, I'm working with a project uh, about uh, teaching teachers how to use internet in a more um, efficient way and just look, looking at internet as a library. How can they use the internet to share schoolwork? And by that, we, I work at the Swedish CCTLD, the .se. Uh, the, and one of our um, main goals is making available for the domain names in Sweden, but we also make a lot of projects to evolve the <coughs> internet use in Sweden. One of them is Webstjärnan, or Webstar, if I would translate it to English. What is Webstjärnan? It's a school competition. It's really, really easy. We made it easy. We looked at the internet and we said people or students or teachers ought to be able to make their work available on the web. So uh, we made a school competition, Webstjärnan, and the main goal is to get teacher and students to learn more about the internet by using the internet for ordinary school works. This project started in the year of 2008, and I have been the project lead since 2010. By now we have about 2,800 teams, about 50,000 pupils uh, attending the school competition. And one of the main, I have the, I'm the luckiest person in the world because I get the opportunity to learn not students things but teachers because we learn we our main goal is to get the teachers to understand how the internet works if they know the internet they will use it more efficient in school it's really easy they learn how to make content on the web they easily make the schoolwork and they share it online on a web page which we use uh, uh, open content and uh, we open source uh, tool we use uh, uh, create uh, I'm sorry uh, WordPress because we want to support the open community on the internet and then we uh, want the teachers to get to know how uh, schoolwork is mostly about you reusing other people's work and that, as we all know in this room, then, then the copyright issue comes in hand. So a main goal for us has, to be, has been to actually get teachers to know about how the, te the teachers and the students can use others' content on the web. And uh, part of that is that we use Creative Commons to share our work. We uh, use Creative Commons to share our knowledge, we teach them about Creative Commons, and we use Creative Commons, this is a, a, a easy posters, a easy poster to know what type of license you should choose, and you just follow the uh, road. Uh, I'm so proud to be having Alec in the room to say that he has translated this one to Polish. We have also reused it because it's free under Creative Commons and we want to sh actually show how Creative Commons works. So we have used the same uh, poster and made another uh, brilliant poster about how to make a blog in schools. All our content on our webpage is licensed under Creative Commons license by Share Alike. And we are we are the biggest promoter of Creative Commons in the schoolwork in Sweden. And that really influences the, te the teachers and the students. And we see that in the way they use other works. They use people or they use photos and uh, materials that are free under a public domain. And we can also see that students actually start to share their work with the Creative Commons license. Like this page, this blog, uh, they shared it, Sago Vinden, it's about storytelling. They used uh, a Creative Commons and they made a movie telling us how they use Creative Commons. 
This was one of my favorite projects. This, uh, this is uh, the grand tour of three boys in the last year of the uh, uh, ordinary school. They were 19 years and they went to Chernobyl to make a project about what happened in Priak, I actually can't pronounce this city. And they took amazing pictures and they made a web page about what happened in Chernobyl for 25 years ago. And when they were finished, they realized we have done something that nobody else has done. We have to share it. We share it by Creative Commons. So their whole web page and all their photos, which are amazing, <coughs> are available under <coughs> Creative Commons. This is just a small part of what I do on my ordinary day work. When I'm not working, I, I would say all the pictures as well as on Creative Commons and made by me and so on. I'm going to talk about the photography work. So I'm leaving that. You have to, if you're interested about the Webstar or about .sc and our use of Creative Commons, please come and ask. Uh, I'll tell about it because we are a huge user of the Creative Commons licenses to share our knowledge about the internet and how the internet works. I was also invited to talk about my work with uh, photography and how I, as a photographer, uses Creative Commons. So I have another presentation for that. I called it Creative Commons from a photographer's perspective. <laughs> Maybe you have probably never seen my work, but if you have, you have seen my work as a still life photographer. I'm a still life photographer, or at least in some parts where there are a lot of geeks interested in Star Wars, I'm rather famous. Um, it really started by me taking my, uh, I have three boys. I took two of my boys to my, uh, a mother-in-law and mother and father-in-law on vacation and we stopped and I really wanted, I have, I'd found the internet and on the internet there are a lot of male photographers making pictures of toys and I, I, I'm a female, I'm middle-aged, I'm three, a mother of three and I couldn't really get myself to buy toys to make a photo project so I forced my middle boy, his name is Aaron. I forced him to buy two toys. And I said, we can make some fun pictures. And then I kidnapped them and they became mine. And soon to be, I've flooded my photography with these toys. I have to tell this story because uh, Aaron's, Aaron saw me once talking about my pictures and he said, you made it sound like it was my little brother's toys and it's mine. If you're going to use them, you have to tell that they are mine. And you are only allowed to use them as long as you make them famous. You have to make them famous, mom. This is Aaron, by the way. When I started my photograph and uh, my photo project, I did I had his word with me, you have to make them famous. If you're going to use them, you have to make them famous. So I decided, how can I do that? I'm not really that great of a photographer. Um, maybe I can do as other male photographers do. I'll use the internet. And then I'll use the Creative Commons license to make my work available for others to share and remix. I use the Creative Commons license, attribution, non-commercial, share alike. And then I started my project. Actually, I started going around all summer, just never being with anybody else but these two toys. And my, everybody thinks it is so pretty. And they say, you must be the best mom. And I say, no, I'm not. Ask my children. They hate them. Uh, because when I play, because I do, I do play with them, uh, no one else can be part of the play and it takes an awful lot of time <laughs> I can they know 
So I started uh, under the summer, just playing around with them, and uh, finally I decided to do a, a real project about them, about what it would be to be an ordinary man in a, in a uniform, working for the dark side of the force. So in a galaxy far, far away, we have children working for the master of the dark side. Someone has to make the, his laundry. And when you have to go to work, you have to, you are in a hurry. I, may, maybe my, one part of my photography is I put the ordinary day into these figures. They have to have an ordinary life sometimes. They can't fight all the time. They can't always miss the rebels. Someone has to teach the small one how to make, uh, how to jump. This picture, actually, the starting, I have to show that one as well. This picture of Aaron, Aaron taking a picture of me. You see that's the same. He is with me that evening, <laughs> really hated me. That he, he said, you never, never, I will never do it again. He's really proud of this picture, as I have to say talk about it. He's so proud of this picture. He thinks this is one of his best pictures. And he, when he was finished, I asked him, Aaron, how should we share this? Should we share it? You know, I share all my work under a Creative Commons license. That means that people can use them without asking me for permission, and they can redistribute it on the line. Wouldn't that be great for you as well? And Aaron looked at me and said, no. I want them to ask me before they use it. <laughs> He's really proud of this picture. It's only one fault. That's me. If I wasn't in the picture, it would be perfect. Um, right. <coughs> this is the photographies I have done with still lives. And I've never, I never ever thought that I would gain any fame. But one day, it happened. One day, the internet just dumped in my head, and I was famous. It actually started by an American blogger. I thought it was rather a small blog. It seems to be small anyway. And suddenly, it was all over the social media. All the geek blogs are talking about the photographer making ordinary lives available for the stormtroopers, adorable stormtroopers. And I was famous, the photographer who made it to the Daily Mail. In Sweden, I got the Aftonblad, it's a huge evening paper. My pictures got a viral spreading I couldn't even dream of. This is one picture of the trooper family on the way to the daycare, actually taking early in the morning in Gothenburg. Me standing on the, I'm, I'm always on the ground. And suddenly 29,000 people had clicked on my picture. Why? Even Star Wars retweeted my pictures. I only can say it must be Creative Commons. It has to be. Or, and I have people following me. I even have tags called the Calix Sanderson style, and they got pictures like these. I have people making paintings out of my pictures, just to make it a way it's available online. And Joaquin has even, uh, he has attributed me, and he shares his picture of his painting under a Creative Commons license. I'm totally amazed. This is better than best. This is how the Creative Commons licenses are supposed to work. People really like my work. But on the other hand, liking someone's work doesn't mean that you follow the conditions. It doesn't mean that they do great things with your work. They do things like this. And they do things like this. People share my way, work and say, I don't know who made these or how old it is, but it showed up on Facebook this week and I can't stand the cleverness of it, so I snagged a copy. I mean, is this not brilliant photography? Are the poses not incredible, adorable? 
and I just sit there and say, how hard could it be to find out who is the photographer? You know, try Google. It isn't hard. I, I actually know. You can you, Google pictures. The backside of being popular is that you get used in a way that you didn't thought would happen and you get used without attribution. Uh, maybe this is the most um, shared picture that I haven't done. I haven't done this picture. Maybe George Takai has. Um, it's, a, um, it's a collage of five of my pictures. And it was shared online on Facebook and on other, of, every other uh, social network unattributed. And I, that, that really hurts, actually. It hurts that I don't know who made the collage because I don't think it's George Takai. And, but on the other hand, it shows how people are talking about the photography. Um, am I the photographer? I'm not. I'm not the photographer of this work. I'm the photographer of the individual, in, individual pictures. And someone else has remixed my work and made it brilliant. I actually think this is really, really nice. Um, in another blog, they had a long discussion about this, how to attribute the photographer. And I love this uh, talk because it's, uh, it, it, Sandra Snan, who's talking the most in this uh, discussion, she, she captures some of how we use the internet. She says, guess a lot of people, myself included, even, I even posted out comments and deleted, asking for prints to buy. Thought you made these and screwed a link to you. Guess you didn't mean for that to happen. Again, via the circus of the modern web, who told me becomes more than important than who made it. This is really, in many cases, really true. Who told me becomes more important than who made it. And Simon, he, I know, Simon, he, f he finished up, he, he follows her question up and he says, um, I don't like this, where's the acknowledgement of the original photographer, Koalik Sanderson? I think not including that is bad style, to be honest. I love the question about from me. I'm not me. I wish it were, but it isn't. Me says, wait, everybody's calling for Kalex Sanderson to credit. That Flickr link has the following under the photo. I have, uh, I had to, taken a, a copy of this, uh, of this work and put it online on my Flickr page because I know I'm a photographer of the individual pictures. And I wrote, I found it on Facebook. I don't think George Takai is the one who made it. Um, sorry, George. That Flickr link has the following under the photo, found it on Facebook. That's me saying. Shouldn't we be calling for attribution of the original source? This is also true on the internet. Who told me is more important than who made it? I told everybody <coughs> who told me, Facebook told me. I didn't tell them that I made it because I thought that was so clear because it was in my uh, f photo stream. Today there is found it on Facebook and then it is linked to me as a photographer. <laughs> I, even I have to attribute myself on internet. I love the internet, I really do. Because without the internet, I wouldn't have gotten, gotten this, this person who made this, this fan who made this, um, remix of the original um, um, oh, remix. He really, he or she really got the point of my work. I want to tell the story about those working for the dark side with a, with a, that they have a family, that they are ordinary men, but evil, good and evil isn't that easy. We love these, or most people do really love them, even though Darth Vader is really awful taking the teddy from the small stormtrooper. They even, the, even when they see that, they think it's beautiful. 
which is horrible. But, but this person really shows that it, it isn't that easy with evil and good. I got misused by... Yeah, I know. I got misused by, by Flickr and Yahoo. <laughs> and I really want to say it isn't that easy to use Creative Commons because Creative Commons mostly comes with no uh, obligations. People use it without even being aware of the conditions or looking at the conditions. And I don't think it's my role to chase them. I can't. I can't chase them. I want to make pictures. I want to tell stories. I think this is an issue for the Creative Commons community because I want to share and I want to use Creative Commons as a tool because art needs other art. But do you attribute? I have seen a lot of slides doing that, but most of the time when I'm talking about Creative Commons, people do not attribute. When they use pictures, they don't attribute. I use Creative Commons because it's free, because it's easy, because it's easy to understand, and I try to follow the conditions. Thank you.